Uh, just making a quick video of this uh, 871 um, blower here. Um, it's, uh, it's about 27 inches long, 13 wide, and uh, about a foot high to the top of the control rack there. Speaking of which, as you can see that moving there to get it off the truck. I had to cut these rods here, but for use on a gasoline engine, I don't think that'll matter because cut that one in half too. Um, same thing with the oil lines. I had to cut them in half. Hacksaw job. Anyway, um, she uh, spins over okay here. As you can see there. Now, the way these are driven, there's a spline in the end here. So to put them on a car, let me uh, gear set uh, in here. Put them on a car, you have to, uh, you know, adapt some type of drive to that. But uh, I'm sure they make kits for that or something. And then it's held down kind of unusually too. You got these uh, six bolts here. They're they're at an angle to the V of the engine. So. I can see I don't know how all that works out and then there's uh, well there's at least one bolt there that got used and another one here but to put it on a V8 engine I'm sure they people have figured out how to do it but uh, I guess I could roll it over and show the bottom side Got some oil dripping out of it there. It must be coming out of the gear casing. I uh, just tipped it up. But uh, maybe it's got gears at both ends. I don't know. Don't know that much about it. But uh, and she weighs in at about 80 pounds, so it's not easy to to lug around. But that's uh, that's what she looks like. The uh, scavenge blower off of a uh, V871 uh, Detroit diesel.